somebody has to make more money. Somebody, yeah. it, it's it's inevitable. And then in with with with, with economics coming into play, we're talking about traditional relations where women didn't work back when this you know idea came up. You have women in the workforce, women get degrees at a much higher rate. I mean, y'all want equal pay. But y'all want the nigga to make more at the it's <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it's, <laughs> I, I, get to the money and slide, get to the money and slide, free all the bros inside, free all the bros inside, play with the bros, you die, huh? Yeah. Get to the money and slide, huh? Free all the bros inside, huh? Play with the bros, you die, huh? Yeah. If you want smoke, come get it. You on my chain, come get it. Taking the money, run with it. You did this shit, I done did it. Get to the money and slide, get to the money and slide. Free all the bros inside, free all the bros inside. Play with the bros, you die, huh? Yeah. Same thing for me. If your mom's a good traditional woman and y'all don't have an unhealthy attachment relationship, right? Oh, there's nothing's wrong with that. But if you got a narcissistic mama and you're a mama's boy, that's absolutely a problem. And, and, and the guy that, and the person, your partner that you want to see future with. I think yeah. that's absolutely fine. I think that's that's one thing people don't realize. Like everything's about what you want. Like yo, you, yeah. Like if, I'm if not gonna want, want from my girl what Chan want or right. what you want. Yeah. Like, you know how the Bible says, "He who finds a wife finds a good thing." Right. Mm-hmm. It does not say she who finds a man finds a good thing. So I feel like it's my job to do what I need to do, work hard, grind, and be a wife. I got a question. So can you date a man that makes more money than you? Yes, I don't want to date a man who don't make more money than me. You couldn't. I, I didn't say I couldn't, but it's like if we're dating and let, let's say you start out making more money than me uh-huh. and then I get a raise. Does it's he have to now go grind? It's going to be kind of like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's that like, doesn't make so. any sense. like if that I'm going, how you go sense. harder? It's kind of, it's kind of hard to say. That makes no sense. But the, the only reason I say that is because if I want to stay home with my child, I don't want my lifestyle to change. So you need him yeah, to figure yeah, it out. Yeah. I don't, I mean, yeah. unfortunately, Even like it is that. messed up. It's messed up. I agree with everything. Literally, oh, oh you have a oh, man, I, I agree with. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Because, like, if you get a significant raise, right? Like, if you have a guy, say he's an engineer, right? His maximum salary, just say he does, goes as far as he can in his company, that could be max 160. Okay, let me say this you know how I was saying, like, my income can be savings, investments. Mm-hmm. Let's make an investment to in- improve our income to the point where it kind of makes up for that difference. Okay, like, for instance, I was telling you guys before we started filming. Um, my my mentor is into investment properties. Okay, let's invest into a new property to get our like our income up to make up for that difference. And, and if it's after I've already finished having children, uh-huh. who gives a shit? But if I'm still getting pregnant, having babies, I don't want to be on maternity leave or like say like I want to wait until my baby's a year old before I go back to work. I don't want my lifestyle to change. Okay, I don't want to be like, damn, we got to figure something out. We got to make sure these bills get paid. Like I want to keep that comfort yeah so that means we got to use my the money in our savings or our investment fund to make up for that difference we gonna make up for that difference that's just my opinion though so okay if you make 200 and he makes 100 how long will you be okay with that it depends on if i'm still having babies if i'm still having children it's like you better figure it out before these nine months out like you gotta <laughs> you gotta figure it out before my maternity leave ends we better figure it out at least but like, what if he never does, right? Like, what if, based off you know his degree, his career choice and path, there's a maximum cap, bro. That I'm just thinking, like, bro, what if I, what if I'm doing <laughs> what I want to do, like, what <laughs> if I just like, like bro, what if he was a teacher, like, but wait, that, that's what I'm saying, I'm what, like, because I don't even want to go to a poor, some poor, yeah. no, don't expect teachers, like, <laughs> but like somebody who's not making a lot of money, yeah, like, yeah. let's say he makes, he, he's a manager of a sales team or something, and he just. He enjoys what he does. Like, like to me, like I, I completely understand a woman needing the wanting that security. Like that makes sense. So Be- why would I marry somebody I know off rip I'm gonna be making more money then? Because if like in a in a in a situation where he's making money to to to, to sustain, you know, regular lifestyle, I, I can't fathom why that would be important. Now in a situation where, hey, I'm with a nigga where I still gotta worry about the bills. I can worry about the bills by myself. I can understand that. Like <laughs> mm-hmm. that, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. But in a situation where the bills are covered, we can do what we want. But just because I make thirty grand more than him, creates this type of imbalance. I I, I just think okay. That's a, I I see what you're saying. I would say only if that thirty grand changes our overall quality of life. But mm-hmm. also, you have to think about it like this. Like I said, my money will be investment so money. If you so start it's a like, business and your business just hit. 
period. Does he now have to go start a business to hit? So like, two? let's say, let's say, or, 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 or like, I don't, I don't. No, understand. so are you saying like <laughs> I become like a millionaire? Yeah, like, 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 like you, 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 you develop some kind of new cycle. I'm married. What the fuck do you mean? Who gives a damn? We're that's rich. My like, point. That, <laughs> really? just, that that's my point because I think like for a man. Mon- the money is the money. Like we have money or we don't have money. I don't agree with that. But for a lot of women, it's it's more of he makes money and I make money. I don't know. So you don't feel like men get insecure when their women are the breadwinners? I think I think that can happen. And, and it's I, emasculating. I, like if you can't, let's say you lose your job and you're you're unemployed and your wife is taking care of everything. You don't think that's going to change the dynamic shift in your relationship? I'm lock the fuck in. I do. That's th- what I'm saying. Like no, lock I'm, in. I'm not saying I'm not going to lock in. What I'm saying is, bro, the woman that I'm with. I sh- I'm going to feel that pressure. I'm going to feel that shame. She- I should not be worried that she's going to perpetuate that the shame that I'm already Back feeling you, yeah. in my own home. I've married the wrong person. Yes, because mm. I've seen it where the, the woman starts person. emasculating the man. You're crazy as fuck. And it's not cute. That's why I'm like. like and I-, I just think that that's not a good foundation to set most people up on. Yeah. It's it's not healthy because you're, cause you, you, you're creating tension Somebody has to make more money. <laughs> yeah, it's it's inevitable. And then in with 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 economics coming into play, we're talking about traditional relations where women didn't work back when this you know idea came up. You have okay. women in the workforce. Women get degrees at a much higher rate. I mean, y'all want equal pay, but y'all want the nigga to make more at the. It's. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a, I just think it's I'm a hard thing to. Like, it's it's a saying. hard thing to. <laughs> yeah. you I mean, like, like, like I, I just, I don't one. know. But I mean, to like, truthfully though, I do think you do have the right to desire someone who makes more than you. And, and I agree. That's I, what it comes I down think to. you do have the right to desire anything that you want. And you have to marry the person. Like, I'm not gonna marry somebody who's not as driven as me. All right. I want somebody who's like motivated me to go harder, and I'm doing the same for them. Like, yeah. we can constantly helping each other grow and do better. So it's like. Why would I marry anybody who's gonna have a problem with my mindset? Like you yeah. gotta know what you're looking for. Absolutely. If you yeah. <laughs> The reason I always ask this question because I, I just wanna make like I always want people to kind of at least <laughs> think through their opinions. Fair. And if you have if you if you've thought through your opinion and you no no, I, I still agree with perspective, bro. Live your life like we in America, I think that's one of the great greatest things about this country is where you can go live how you wanna live. Like that's the idea. You know Freak what I'm saying? Freak or not. Like, bro, do <laughs> shit, I don't give a fuck. Honestly, you the goal is really at a certain point, if we've used my income properly, it'll get to a point where I don't have to work and he don't have to work, but I really, really like don't have to. Like, I would like to stay question. home with my kids. I want to farm. Joint account or separate accounts? Both. Great my parents answer. have personal accounts and they have accounts together that they Great use answer, mostly yeah. for household stuff and their children. I think that's what I'm going to Great answer. Yeah. yeah. Both. Both. And Do you yeah. agree with the, with the direct deposit going to the, the main account first? I think we should both have at least, you know, a certain percentage of both of our salaries going to one account. Boom. No, that's I, how my parents have it. They have it where they I have agree. personal accounts. Yeah. Like and 25%. Have, both of our 25% both. goes in this one account and that's what we got for, you know, the bills, yeah, the yeah. groceries. Yeah. If like little bro need a shirt, get him with a shirt. Here, go get some gas. This card. Go to the yeah, grocery yeah, store. Yeah, this card yeah, is the yeah, same yeah, card yeah, yeah. for the household yeah, or yeah, yeah. tuition. Hey, put this card in for your tuition type yeah, of thing. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. Yeah. I think that's that's fair because it's kind of like a balance. You still get a little bit. A lot of women whose husbands holy like are the providers. They're like, I feel weird asking him for money or like I feel like, you know, like I know someone who's married and she was a nurse and now she's got a husband who's in his culture. It's disrespectful for his wife to work. No, you will not have a job. Like I am a provider, and if you're working, that makes me look bad in front of my family, my like my, my culture. My people. So it's like she's like, dang, I'm bored as hell. Like, what do I do now? And I'm like, girl, you better get an Etsy shop. Like, find something to do. Go, go play pickleball. Go, go <laughs> have tea with the other housewives. Like, yeah, be an influencer in the house. Like, do something. Don't just, baby. If I had a husband, husband, if you're out there, and he said, oh, you don't have you, I won't ever make you do because it it's disrespect. <laughs> Cause it's disrespectful. You ain't gonna worry disrespect. about me. <laughs> I would, give me a I'll library. I'll be do. in the house chilling. Sure. Dinner will be ready on time every day. It will never happen to me. Okay, kids will be picked up, taken to practice. I don't care. I'm gonna jump in my truck, <laughs> load it up with the soccer girlies. Let's go, kids. <laughs> like, let's go. We hooping though. Sorry, soccer. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hey man, I, mean, like, <laughs> I think the overall message that everybody got their own relationships, man. Everybody can pick and choose who they want. I'm curious, down what you with. want? What you want, Mike? No, I mean, I, I I like a lot of things you said. Like, I mean, I think that traditional modern blend is where it kind of lies. Like, that didn't answer my question. I mean, I, I like, I like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, presses. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I like ambitious women. So I like women too who like to go get what they want. 
Um, but I mean, I think also that comes with other things. Like you can't, I, I, I don't think it's fair to have both, to ask for both and you can't provide both. It's, it's, it's impossible to provide. Well, for like a woman to be like super feminist, like we need equal pay, but also be like, you need to make more than me. That's impossible. That yeah. that's 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 almost borderline insanity. <laughs> Define people, insanity. Well, the 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 definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting the same result. But there's a I think that's from Webster. Right. There's just a the difference. That between, sounds very accurate, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, there's a difference between yeah, I was thinking that same you know, definition too. Denotation and connotation, like the actual yeah. definition of it, and then what people can perceive it to. So, Especially in different situations. I don't. I, I am a woman. But I do not agree with everything in the feminist movement. Like sometimes, like girl, <sighs> but everybody different. Like you said, everybody's like, wants are different. But like I mean, for me personally, I agree like, with a lot of feminist shit. Like I'm, I open a door. Like I'm, you know, I'll carry all the bag. Like bro, y'all, y'all see me, bro, in the airport, bro. You know, going going on a trip, bro. I got bag on the front, bag on the back, carrying the suitcase. Like I'm, I'm cool with with, with, with doing that type of stuff. I'm a complain, I'm a bitch, but I'm, a, I'm gonna do it. You know, because I think that's that's fair to do. You're supposed to yeah. be doing, yeah. You shouldn't but, be carrying this heavy ass shit. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm literally I'm, here for. Yeah. But to me, because it's logical, I'm stronger. Therefore, so I'm I should carry, carry the heavy right. thing. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I mean, that's fair. Cause like I was just saying, like when I go out with certain people, it's like I have a purse. Ain't nothing in there but my phone. My freaking ID is permanently in my case, and it be lip gloss in my purse. And so, that, li- that little light. That so you what you'll do? You ain't paying for no dates. Not unless I say like, "Hey, let me go treat you." To but like other than that, if we're out, why would no, no, no? I, I, I'm not saying just randomly out, but I'm saying like, like how often would you say that you would treat your treat your dude? Every how yeah how long? I guess it's hard to say. <laughs> it just really depends on what's going on. Like I might just randomly be like, "No, I got it." Like it just it's like improper. in the six months time span. How many times would you say I got it? Come on. No, not or I got it, like, month. hey, no, I, like, we're, we're, we're going to go here. Like, you did this. Like, you, I'm proud of you. Let's go here. On me. That's hard to say because, like, I what little achievements? Like, I don't know. It's just, it depends on the person. But I, see, if I was to say a rough estimate, I'll say maybe, like, in a six-month span, three to five. That's fair. In six-month time. Pan. That's all I need. Yeah, that's not. That's all I need. And that's, that's all really I was thinking three. Right. Right. And, and, yeah, I think and, and I'm doing that three. time probably what, like? 60. I was for, <laughs> 60 <laughs> 45, 40, 40, 40, 60 30, 30. 30. You big guy like that? Like, no, I'm just saying. Wait, month, wait, wait. Nigga? No, I'm not counting like Chick fil A. You talking about a like, date for real? Oh, like going straight on a date. Oh. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. <laughs> just, I don't know, Dan. I'm just saying, <laughs> out, of, out of six months, if we go somewhere together, I'm going to pay for it 60 times. Fair. In six months, Fair. Where, yeah. wherever that ends up. But oh, like, like just little random stuff. Like I mean, it's, it's been times where, like in my past relationship, yeah, it's like okay, I know exactly what time it's been going. Like okay, I'm gonna go is. take him to eat. Right, I'm gonna say let let let's say. But it's not a date. House. It's like a, a nice right. gesture. Some chill, y'all at the house. You like, ooh, I'm gonna order me some Uber Eats. Like I, if he's there, I'm gonna be like, you want something to eat? That's not like okay, okay, that, okay. Like and I, I feel like there are certain there are a lot of women, bro. They don't have no job. They don't have no money. They had a fucking money. They That's feel they like it's it's emasculating or it's not feminine to do that. It really depends. Like if I'm out and I like, he said he needed some new deodorant. I'm gonna pack. I'm gonna grab you some deodorant. Like that's just a little bit. He said like if I see something right. and it makes me think about, it, I'm gonna grab this for you. That's type of shit. Like that's why I like my mother. Like if you know I need some fucking thoughtfulness uh, goes a long way. Some <laughs> shit, you buy toothpaste. If you if you buy a toothpaste and say, hey, bro, this is three dollars. I'm gonna look at you like you've lost your like mind. Like asking for the money for it? Yeah, I'm saying like like if, if, yeah, 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 if yeah, you were yeah, that yeah, type yeah, of like yeah, yeah, yeah. you're paying for everything, yeah. I would That's yeah, too you, much. You trimming. Like, Fuck that toothpaste. That little bitty three dollars or or, 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 or <laughs> even, even some yeah. food. No, and I'm spending hundreds. If you said you, you was coming to my house and say, Hey, I'm I'm, I'm gonna grab us some food, like what you want? Okay, cool. That's it. Unless I like a lot of times I'll say, Hey, like how much was that food? I'll send you the money. But if I don't say that, <laughs> don't don't come to me and that's say that's weird. I'm, I'm telling you, I I y'all don't jump me, but I'm just, that's weird. <laughs> like I, said, the, 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 I don't experience that, I mean, but I've seen that. That I don't know. Yeah, that's too much. I mean, okay. For instance, I was in a relationship. He would buy my groceries. I would cook. I felt like that was fair. Absolutely. Like, like, I'm cooking anyway. I'm about to groceries anyway. You're making my life easier. How many meal prep trays do you need? <laughs> like, that's you need to, what do you want me to do? Like, <laughs> that's what it's like, simple stuff like that. So, if it's like, if I'm in Target and I notice, I was over there the other day, he had a hole in his sock. I'm going to buy you a pack of socks. Liberty shit. <laughs> that's what I mean when I say be a wife and be found. Don't be a girlfriend. I agree. Yeah. 
I don't. Yeah. My, oh, has say you don't date to marry you marry to date. Married mm. to date. Lost me. Give it to me. Give so me like, me. don't <laughs> date somebody forever figuring out if there's somebody you want to be with because when you know, you know. Marry them and commit your life to dating them. Right. Take, okay, do okay, all okay, the little shit y'all doing these relationship, okay. wasting time on people y'all know y'all not going nowhere with. Right. Marry them and do all that date shit and the scrubbing shit for the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Right. Basically. Mm. So, I tell mm. myself, I'm done dating until my husband come find me. So, I'm what just What does that chilling. mean? Like, I'm not going out of my way to date. Does that make sense? That like, if somebody comes to me and they show me qualities of someone I would find in a husband, then I'll consider dating them. But it's like, I'm going more old school, like courting style. Like, don't text me after 8 o'clock because you're not serious Ooh. about me. I have work in the morning. Ooh. What if you work all Are day? you going to present these restrictions prior Oh, I'm to? really big on boundaries. Like, I've done this okay. before, and I feel like if it upsets you that I say, I'm in bed. And I don't want to be contacted after. I, we're not teenagers. I'm not standing up on the phone three o'clock in the morning with you. True. I'm not doing that. I have work in the morning, and I be tired. I do that. I get up early. You, what you stay on the phone three I o'clock? That. I still do that. I didn't go to work. Oh no. I feel like this is the way to. No, honey. I am showered. Awake. Skincare routine. But, pajamas. But like I said, if you're presenting this, then like I feel like that's mature enough to demand what you're demanding. I think. So I have no problems with that. I think I, what what kind of upsets me sometimes when you see somebody who's repeating something or who hasn't necessarily fully kind of thought out the intricacies of what you're saying, and you're like judging people off this. I'm like, bro, like especially like I feel like I'm a person who kind of has a decent awareness about multiple factors that affect these type of things. So I'm like, all right, bro. Like, can you if you just at least to take a step back and look at it objectively? Yeah. I think you would have a different perspective. But I think a lot of people don't even take the time to do that. So I mean, it's, I feel like it's, it's good to hear you. Cause people be talking yeah. outside. Of, this is the life I've seen. This shit growing up. Like, this is how the women and the men in my family have conducted themselves. Like, right. If you call me at the eight o'clock, it better somebody better be in the hospital. Like, if you're not my homegirl checking in, like, hey, I ain't heard from y'all. I just want to make sure you straight. I be in the bed. Eight o'clock though. Eight o'clock sharp, bro. Maybe eight o'clock. People like who work real deal nine to five just sleep. It was yeah. late out. It was late outside at eight o'clock today. I mean, I get home till eight o'clock. I'm old. Right. I'm sorry. I <laughs> I'm old, so I'm winding down. I need time <laughs> for like my, my brain to slow down, my body to relax. Like I'm. But I feel like that's the times you want to talk to people you're interested in, though. Daytime. Winding down time. Daytime, daytime you working. Daytime. Daytime you work. I get off at five o'clock. You got from five, <laughs> five to, to eight. eight. <laughs> if you want to see me, I got the weekends. Like, if you serious, you gonna take the extra step. Like, I have lunch breaks. Let me treat you to lunch. Come meet me for lunch. Okay. Like, like, like I said, I think it's fair because it adds just a, a an extra layer of barrier to entry. Like you said, if somebody wants to put in the work, they'll do it. So I mean, I, and, and I don't think that is a unreasonable requirement. And if you state that up front, I think that's overall fair. Yeah, so and I mean, I'm also the type of person who like dinner. I'm eating dinner like s- wait six thirty seven. Damn, mm. like I am old, y'all. I don't think y'all understand. <laughs> like, I, think I, just I be tired. Lunch I haven't time. got off work sometimes at six thirty well, yet. <laughs> Nine to five. I mean, and I'm up early. Yeah. I mean, I go in at ten. I just not your, your schedule different. Right, right. I, but you're fair. Like I said, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. I mean, like so overall, I mean, everybody has different experiences. You know, everybody can do their own thing, their relationship. Just make sure that you're checking in with your people that you're talking to. Have good communication, right. man. And y'all be blessed out here, man. It's been a God for Team podcast. Get to the money and slide. Get to the money and slide. Appreciate y'all popping out to the podcast, man. Make sure y'all leave a like. Go ahead and comment something. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our videos. And make sure you subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive behind-the-scenes videos posted weekly. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TikTok, and I already know we're on YouTube, man. Go check us out everywhere. Show.